Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to do quadratic equations in Excel. On my screen, I have the form of a quadratic equation, which uh, you should know is y equals a plus bx plus cx squared. So it has three terms. It has the constant, the linear term, and the quadratic term. Uh, one of them has no x, the second one has a number times x, and the no third one has a number times x squared. The, um, the roots of the quadratic equation are um, the values where y equals zero. And the solution is there are, two, there are always two roots to a quadratic equation, and they are shown here. They are of the form x equals all of this, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of the quantity b squared minus 4ac, all of that divided by 2a. And the, um, the plus or minus is just the, the shows that there are two roots. Um, in very special cases, there, there will be one. If the two roots happen to be the same, that's a, that, that's a special case. And there are um, you know, times when the roots are, are not real, they're complex. But I'm just going to assume that we have uh, real roots. And if I'm lucky, the, the trial number I, I do will, will give us real roots. So what we're going to do is we're going to type A, just so we know what we're doing. Uh, we can remember what we've labeled, a, b, and c, and then we're going to put in some numbers. So let's just say a is 2, and b is um, 6, and c is 3. Okay, and what we'll do is we're going to make a f uh, two roots, and one of them is going to be x1, and the next one is going to be x2. Um, so all we're going to do is we're going to enter in, in the formula bar up here, we're going to enter in an equals, which means we're about to uh, do a calculation, equals, and it's going to be, um, let's see, we need some parentheses, so because that whole thing in the numerator of our, our uh, you know, equation for the roots has to be in parentheses, so it's pr open parentheses, and then minus, and we'll click here on B, and the first root's going to be plus, plus, and then you can actually, in Excel, you can type a square root exactly like this. That's the function for a square root. You could also put all of this in parentheses and then have an exponent sign and then a one-half or a 0.5, but we're just going to use the square root formula. So we're going to do S Q R T, and then as soon as we type an open parenthesis, up here you can see Excel knows we've entered in a formula. It recognizes S Q R T, and now it's looking for the number inside the, uh, the square root function. So we're going to type B squared, so it's going to be, we're going to click on B, and type the exponent sign, and um, uh, b squared minus 4 times, let me just scroll out a little here, times a times c. Now Excel knows that the, the order of operations, it knows that it always does the multiplications first, and then, and then well actually it does the squares first, or the, you know, the powers first, then it does multiplication, division, then it does addition and subtraction. So we don't need to put parentheses around the 4ac because it knows we're going to do all that and then subtract that from b squared. So let's continue with the formula. Um, so we, we close that parentheses, parentheses, and then uh, we need another parentheses to close the whole thing in the numerator. Uh, and then we're going to type a divided by sign and now we do need to uh, put parentheses because we want it to be divided by 2 times a. We could also do divided by 2 divided by a, but that gets a little confusing. So in the parentheses in the denominator, 2 times, and then over here is, um, is a, and uh, this cell right here is a. Okay, and now we're going to close that parentheses and hit return. So there we go. Hey, we got lucky. We got a real root. So the first root is minus 0.63, and it probably isn't exact. If we go up here to the, uh, you can increase the number of decimal places up here. So we'll do that a couple of times, and um, you can see it, it increased it to four decimal places. Now, for the second root, instead of typing that all in again, we're going to go into the formula, select the whole formula, put our cursor on there, and do a right click and say copy. And then I always, just to be safe, because we don't want to change that formula, we just wanted to copy it. So I'm going to click here and click on the X, which means cancel. 
So we didn't change anything, but we did copy that formula. And then we're going to click on the next cell next to X2, our second root, go up into the formula bar, and hit a right click and, and paste. And all we need to do is change this, um, the plus or minus was between the minus B and the square root. So right here, this plus sign, we're going to change to a minus sign. And we're going to hit, hit return. There we go. And there's our second root. It's 2.366. And I always like to have the same number of significant digits after the decimal point. Um, it's just good practice. So anyway, there's our second root. Now, we have it set up so that we can change these numbers and the roots will change. So let's just play around a little. Let's, let's change the B value. Let's change it to 4. Um, oh, now, okay. That means we got an error here. And that means that it's a complex root. It's not a real root. Um, dealing with quadratic equations with complex roots is, is a lesson for another time. So I'm going to change that to uh, a different number. There we go, 7. Oh, those are nice round numbers there. That's probably one you could have done... Uh, done uh, with a little bit of algebra. Anyway, uh, I think you get the idea. Um, I, I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to do quadratic equations in Excel. Thank you for watching.